Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can activate the vibration inside your physical device. So by the end of this tutorial, we're going to have an app that looks like this. You can see in the emulator here, I have a button that says tap to vibrate. So when I click on that, the device will vibrate. But you can see here that the device doesn't vibrate because we're using the emulator. So make sure to test the app on a physical device to be able to experience the vibration effect. So let's get started. Open up Android Studio and let's start coding. So the first thing, the first thing that we can do here is we need to add the button inside the layout file. So you can see I have the main activity running uh, here open, sorry. So go to the app go to resource, layout, double click on the activity underscore main that XML file and inside here is where we're going to add the button. So click on the palette, drag the button inside the screen here, change the button label to tap to vibrate, same thing as shown in the emulator. Okay, so we got the button ready close this and let's reference the button right here so we call this button and we need to reference the button as well as make it clickable because when you click on the button we need to start or we need to we need the device to vibrate so let's do it like this so we got that referenced already so it's button dot set on click listener, new on click listener and then inside the on click is where we're going to do the vibration so to be able to do the vibration first you need to declare a variable called not a variable actually the, uh, the, the, the you can see the vibration the vibration service provided by Android so you do vibrator that's the one provided by the Android OS so vibrator and we're going to call this vibe vibrator and below the button here is where we're going to use the vibrator service so what I mean by that is vibrator equals to get system service and what is the system service is basically the vibration vibrator service so you can see the Android Studio complaint here because we need to cast this to vibrator. So click on the red bulb here on the arrow, click on that and choose the first option, cast to Android OS vibrator. And the casting is done and we can use the vibration service. Now inside the, the button on click listener is where we're going to start the vibration service. And to do that, we'll do vibrator dot. So you can see we have lots of vibration, lots of vibrate methods that we can use. So we're going to use the this vibration effect, vibrate, and then we're going to do vibration effect. And we're going to, there are three types. So we're going to choose the last one which says create one shot don't worry I'll go through this later with you step by step of what exactly means so we'll choose the last option create one shot and here we need to pass the uh, the long long value which is the millisecond so we'll pass here as 200 and for the amplitude we will do default vibration effect dot default amplitude so use that and you can see here Android is complaining that says missing permission required by the vibrator dot vibrate so to be able to uh, use the vibration service first you need to add the permission inside the Android manifest file and what you can do here is right uh, sorry click on the red bulb here and choose the first option that says add permission vibrate once you add that to make sure it's already added all you have to do is go to the manifest 
and double click on the Android Manifesto XML file. And you can see here, let's give this an enter, and you can see this is the permission that was just added. Android permission dot vibrate. That's the permission that we need to use to be able to uh, have the device vibrate. So close that because we don't need it anymore. And another thing that Android Studio complain is when you hover your mouse over the vibrate here, it says that the call requires API level 26, but the current API is 16. So to be able to uh, use use this vibration API, we need to uh, do some small uh, checking. Uh, what I mean is we'll do F and we check what is the current build. So if it's greater than, we, we need to check the current SDK. So if it's greater than or equal to 2016, sorry, 26, then we will execute this line. So we'll do it like this. So it's if build dot if build uh, version dot SDK underscore end is greater than or equal to 26. If that's true, then ex please execute this line. Otherwise, if the device is running below uh, API 26, then we will do vibrate, vibrate, vibrator dot, vibrate, vibrate, and we just pass in the time. Okay, so you, you might be feeling lost to what I'm actually doing here. Don't worry. We'll go th through this one by one. So what we're doing here is we're setting the on-click listener for the button. And inside the on-click, we are checking if the build.version, which means is if the, the current uh, version that's running in the, div in the user's device is greater than or equal to 26, then we will execute this line. Otherwise, if it's less than 26, then we will execute this line. All right, so what are these lines? So you can see we have already declared the vibrator because we need to first get access or first we need to use the system service. After we did that, now we can access the vibrate API. So vibrator.vibrate and we have here is the vibrate effect dot create one shot. So what does it mean by create one shot? It means that I need to vibrate for only one time and why I mean what I mean by one time means single vibration. It's like when you tap on the button, when you tap on the button inside the emulator, it will vibrate only once. That's exact that's exactly what it means by create one shot. So once we create one shot, we need to pass how long this vibration will last. So we're passing here as two hundred milliseconds, which is the duration of the vibration. We need the vibration to, to last for 200 milliseconds, and then it will stop. And then the second value we have is the default amplitude. The default amplitude, amplitude is basically means the we're using the default uh, the default strength of the the default the default strength of the the vibration of the device. Okay, so we're passing the 200 milliseconds. As this is the the time that this is the the vibration or this is how long the vibration will last for 200 milliseconds, and we're passing the default amplitude because we need to get the or we need to use the default vibration strength of the device that you're actually trying to uh, vibrate. If the device is running below 2016, 26, sorry. If this device, if the device is running below 26, then we don't have any much customization on here, so we just pass in the duration, which is 200 milliseconds. So, when you run the app, make sure it runs on the emulator. Sorry, make sure it runs on the physical device, so that you can actually experience the vibration effect. Okay, 
So that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials. If you need any help with the code, do email me and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks again for watching and happy coding.